Bud, first up here tonight to the new reporting from our I team. A Hernando County teenager killed after being stabbed in the neck early Christmas morning in 2021. Police records say the victim's boyfriend was the only other person in the room with her, and the medical examiner ruled the case a homicide. But I-Team investigative reporter Adam Walser has now learned detectives never actually held an official interview with the boyfriend, and prosecutors declined to file charges. And we do want to warn you, some of the details in this story may be very difficult to hear. She got her, her first job she was excited about at Hobby Lobby. Just got her license four days prior. Happy, very happy. Eddie Tarsiski said life was going well for his 18-year-old daughter Ariana on Christmas Eve 2021. Ariana was celebrating the holiday with her family and her first boyfriend, Ramon Calderon Durst. He seemed like a nice kid. But around midnight, all of a sudden I hear, Eddie, Eddie screaming, and he's got my daughter by the hair and by the neck, and she just has like blood coming out of her mouth and her and couldn't speak. She just, I mean, there's blood everywhere. Eddie says Ariana collapsed, and he called 911. Eddie says Ramon is the other voice on the call. She was upset. And she got a knife, dude. Who has a knife? We were inside and heard the screaming. Thomas Lobianco ran from his home down the street. His account is corroborated in the police report. This kid came out of the house covered in blood, and uh, Eddie's yelling at him, saying, you effing killed her, you effing killed her. Thomas says Ramon charged it, Eddie. The kid says, well, what the F does it matter? I'm going to jail anyway. Eddie says when deputies arrived, they treated him like a criminal. They came in like, Gun, you know, with the rifle and get on the ground. I'm not going to tell you again. And then he's got the rifle to my head. Eddie was taken to the sheriff's office in handcuffs, processed for evidence, and interviewed by detectives. According to the detective's report, quote, I clarified with Edward that he was only assuming Ramon stabbed Ariana, and he agreed, affirming he was just assuming it. Edward then remembered that Ramon had stated, I had the knife. His wife, Judy, was held in a patrol car for hours. Police reports described her as very intoxicated. You said you had a question. What do you need to know? What's going on? I told you she's at the hospital. She had a blood transfusion and she was safe. I need to be with her. Please, why am I in here? The report says Ramon was never read his Miranda rights and that he was not questioned about what happened because he did not want to incriminate himself. Suspects are arrested every day that refuse to um, give a statement. You don't need a statement to create, to lay out the facts. The IT asked Florida Gulf Coast University criminology professor Dr. David Thomas, a nationally recognized policing expert, to review a 373-page report that Tarsinski's received from the state's attorney's office. So now maybe it's time to start digging and you start looking at that relationship to get a much clearer picture of what that relationship was all about. The report says text messages from Ariana and Ramon's phone showed an up and down relationship with arguing and fighting, including on the night she died. My legs open right now. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You see what the situation I don't, is. I don't know what the situation is. I've been what? outside with you. Okay. What do you think the situation is? I don't know. I don't want to assume. Do you see what I'm covered in? Ramon's onwards were captured on an hour-long video recorded as he sat in the back of a patrol car. Look at me. I deserve everything. Right. Hatred of the world. Mm -hmm. Brought down upon me. Sure. Uh, this was all recorded. But hours after the stabbing, Ramon gets good news. All right, listen, we're going to get you out of here. Um, we looked into the case a little bit further, and we're not charging you with anything. Boy, we're not going to charge you anything right now. The police officers were saying that it was um, self-inflicted. Inside Ariana's room, deputies found a notebook containing a drawing from 15 months earlier, depicting a female with her throat cut and blood coming out of her mouth and neck area. Eddie says Ariana was an artist who liked horror movies and often drew graphic images, but she was not suicidal. How much emphasis do you give something like that when you look at something like this? I would consider it. And then when the ME rules it a homicide, 
then I think you have to go back and you got to you have to be examined there. The District 6 medical examiner's report said the manner of death was a homicide that occurred when she was, quote, stabbed by other. He's got an attorney. Mum's the word. And, and he can sit there with his mouth shut all day and there's nothing they can do because he is represented by an attorney. According to the police report, detectives received a letter, calls, and multiple emails from Ramon's lawyer saying Ramon wouldn't agree to make a statement. But I think you go knock on those doors and start asking those questions with the other people. But the report doesn't indicate that ever happened. He exercised his constitutional right not to make a statement. And in August 2023, the state's attorney's office decided not to charge Ramon, saying in a letter, on scene investigation determined there was no probable cause to arrest Ramon Calderon Durst. We don't know what exactly happened in that room, but all I know is our daughter's not here and there's no charges against this kid whatsoever. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser with photojournalist Randy Wright taking action for you. Meanwhile, no charges have been filed against Ramon Calderon Durst or anyone in this case. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office, the state's attorney's office, and Durst's own attorney all declined interviews. And attempts to, to reach Durst himself were also unsuccessful. You can see the Hernando County Sheriff's Department's videos from inside that patrol car and interview room on our website at abcactionnews.com.